This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by Raycon. Go to buyraycon.com slash rogue work. Get 15% off your E85s. Get 32 hours of battery life. Also learn to dance. Look at this one. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, 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 ah, uh, ooh, ah, uh, ooh. I mean, I don't want to say our track record is perfect, but our track record is pretty much perfect. Perfect, right? Perfect, yes. We're kings of knife bouncing. And knife catching. Throw. Oh, watch that one. What did you just do? <laughs> you do not catch flying knives. I did that one time. And was, knife catching. Was that was a bad idea. Was a you should have done Stupid idea. That. It was so really what dumb. what could go wrong with learning how to throw axes? Which well, is why we have Melissa and Justin here from Axelsior in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> what could go wrong? What's the worst thing you've seen go wrong? Oh, no, 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 Well, don't, don't, uh, don't well there was one guy who just wouldn't listen and nearly caught his shin with an axe. Just from a bounce back. It's fine. Just don't throw hard. You're fine. Throw hard enough, but not too much. Okay, we're gonna keep moving. Well, how do we throw axes? Can I, sh I'm gonna Carefully. try it. I'm just gonna try it right here. Just, I'm gonna try, no. can I try it? You Safety first. Yep, yeah, is the modern rope. Okay, no, it's yeah, cool. I think that's why we were allowed on because we said specifically no counter resets. Oh, yes. counter. I like these guys. It's, yeah. No, it's, it's good. Me too. I, I, yeah. Dave. Yeah, take that, Dave. Dave. <laughs> what are the fundamentals of how to properly throw an axe? And by the way, it, is it just my imagination or is axe throwing like blowing up as a competition right now? Yeah, it's got brought down to Orlando around three years ago and it's just exploded all across the city since then. Uh, to the point where World Axe Throwing League has actually happened and has really caught on within the last few years. Are these axes or hatchets? These are hatchets. hatchets. Okay, do you name them? Have they tasted blood? Well, yes and no in that order. What are the fundamentals? What is everything I should know? First thing, you wanna get about 12 to 15 feet from the target. About here would be about 12 feet. Most people are gonna be in that range. Uh, if you've got a longer handle, you're gonna step back a little bit more because of the rotation. You're going for one full rotation. It's gonna come all the way and you want it to stick right here okay. in the wood. Okay. Hits here, go closer. You've over rotated. Hits back here or on the bottom, mm -hmm. back up. You've under rotated. That's, okay. You can do the math and get exact things, and there's physics, or you can just go, yeah, looks just that looks about right. Let me move here. Essentially, you have to gather data exactly. to even begin. Yeah, yeah, science is fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. First thing, you know, you're about 12 feet. You're gonna do either two-handed or one-handed. Two-handed, non-dominant hand on the bottom, dominant hand on top. Up and over. Very important you go over. Some people just stand here like this. You're not gonna get the full rotation. You gotta go that. Oh. You're gonna step, you want your foot to land before you finish, and you're just straight down and you open your hands. When you do the knife throw, same thing. You're letting the momentum go. You actually don't need to flick your wrist. Flicking your wrist, more likely to over rotate, possibly come back a little. I'm a habitual flicker. I'm sorry. It's apologizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I think I was, the, I was king flick of flick Oh, mountains. you, you yeah, flicked no, pretty yes, bad I, the I, last I, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That plus. If you're not sure, two hands. If you do one hand, you run the risk of sidearm. Everyone who throws a baseball, they're either flicking a lot or sidearm. Those are the two biggest no-nos. Right. Easiest thing, for one hand, you go up, make a nice big square and keep that elbow at the target because you know, elbow goes out, you're gonna do a sidearm. It's just a given. Uh, plus, if you're doing it back here, you get a haircut like I got under there. So you just do that and it's literally just bringing your elbow up and you're just straighten your hand and let go. So it feels like it should be more complicated. Right. That's the thing. It doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be complicated. Oh. <laughs> it makes a pretty sound on Pine, though. You seem like such a nice person. <laughs> and then you go and do something like that. You've not seen my Google search history. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds to me like this is less of a game of what you want to do, but mainly just a list of things that you must not do. You must not sidearm. It's deep in there, isn't it? Deep enough. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, these are not like special, uh, I don't know, competition grade. Thing. No, this is just an Ace hardware. I think it's listed as like a framing hammer because it has a blade where it broke off and we just shaved it down, sharpened it up. And so it. certain throws like trick shots, I can't do with it because you need that blade there. But right. trick shots are where all the things go flying and bad things happen. So just don't do those. All right, go on. Two handed, like she said, non-dominant hand on the bottom, dominant hand on top, up and over the head. Just take that step forward and I, dang oh. it. I can do that. Time travel. <laughs> Time travel. Oh. Hey. Yeah. The benefit <sighs> of the two hand is oh, yeah. you're going straight down. You're not going to get so much sidearm as people naturally want to do. And 
it just gives you more control. So if, if your dominant hand is your right hand, uh, do left you on step the forward with the left foot or the most, opposite foot? Most people do, especially when you're first learning. Yeah. You may have noticed I tend to step with my right. Let's just be honest, ladies tend to be more top heavy. Right. If you're noticing your accuracy is bad, but your form's okay as a lady, switch to it's the same leg, same arm. Got it. Here's the thing, these are the basics that work for everyone. Yep. You tweak a lot. So I've had people that they just can't do it. Teach them a no step alternate. Okay. We had a, a guy come in to work uh, the other day, visually impaired. One of our coaches was able to help him stick it regularly by getting him to the right distance to start, explaining how to do it, and literally just saying, may I touch you, and showing him how to do the arm so he'd feel the motion, then going up and saying, this is how it sounds, boom, when you hit too far, you need to back up this much or too close, and et cetera. And after a few throws and, you know, okay, we're gonna move forward about three centers. All right, you hit about two inches to the left of the, zero, the bullseye. He nailed the bullseye. That's amazing. He did it. I guess we just try it. Yeah. yeah. So the question is, do you wanna start with the longer hand or the shorter one? I don't know what the difference is. Oh, just... good, longer. Okay. It's just your space between you and the target. So You wanna be long... further away if you're okay. nervous. So, okay, yeah, okay. For the longer handle, you're gonna, you're gonna stop right here. Yep. You're gonna bring that arm right, right down and just pop your hand open. And step forward with the non-dominant leg. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, okay, All right. what could go wrong? This will be fine. I have absolute faith in you. All right, here just we go. Just gonna hide over here real quick. Mm. Oh, wait, hand. Oh. What do you mean? Oh, there, there you yeah. go. Wow. Wait, Somebody was paying you attention. You are right-handed. We were partly right. Left on bottom. What? Dominant left hand on bottom. This feels like, weird. You know when you swing a baseball yeah. bat? Yeah. Non-dominant on bottom? Oh, okay. Same right. thing. Got it. Keep your it's thumb just a baseball bat, but over here. Okay. If your thumb goes up, it makes you flick your wrist. Okay, got it. Before you step. Yep. So this is where you're going to end. Oh. So I got to start here and then end here. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, got it. I'll catch it. It's fine. Nope. That was actually really that. good. That was not you bad. You actually hit the right part of the axe. Yeah. <laughs> you hit. It. it did hit. You. <laughs> it gently caressed the board. You did not to you. replay. <laughs> hey. Okay. So you did what a lot of people do. You got 99% of the way and went, oh, dear God, and tried yep, to yep, run yep. away. That's exactly what I was so feeling. So just follow through on it. What you want to do, okay. when you let go, you notice our hands keep ending up down here. Right. You're gonna let go here at eye level and just keep following through. When right. your arms reach your sides, then you can step back. Okay. Come all the way up. When yeah. you come down, yep. wrists stay locked. Oh, ooh. 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 Yeah. Wrists stay locked, right. no flick. Oh! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> oh! Second throw! Oh! <laughs> that was awesome. That'll yes. be the last one I do today. Yes. That's it. It's all you from here. Yeah. It's that's not going to get good. any better than yeah. that. Are you that's kidding good. me? Yeah. Well, take it. Well, We're good. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> this doesn't happen. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Which, uh, <laughs> good luck, Jason. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 We are really good coaches at work. Um, today I discovered how unprepared for success we are. <laughs> 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 that was amazing. Yeah. Oh. All right. Are you want to do a one hand or two hand? I'll do one hand since he did. Shorty. Oh. Do not. All right. So you're gonna be a little closer. Square. Uh, yeah. Square. Stepping here. Yep. Yep. Like All right. uh, up, nice and high. Like like so. Yep. yep. But keep your elbow pointed towards the target. Oh yeah. Because you don't want to. If you come behind when it's close, um, you really already got a pretty haircut. close haircut. You yeah. don't <laughs> want closer. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. So just that step and chop. Okay. Here I just we go. play with axes. Oh, oh, you nailed the ball. Nice. You were aiming for that dot, right? Yeah, no, I was totally yeah. going for that. Yeah, no, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very important. Unspoken rule of axe throwing. Wherever you hit, that's where I was aiming. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, was, that was intentional. See? First throw. Nice. Let's see. Ooh. All right. So Whoa. that, that one. What was that one? That is what I call a javelin. You okay. started. Let me show you. So. Before, uh -huh. you were coming straight down yeah. and releasing. That time, you got here and you pushed with your wrist ah. and just released. So it went a straight shot. Okay. So, so just keep flake. that. Yeah. yeah. Oh! Hey! Woo! <laughs> we all... did a perfect episode! <laughs> we did a perfect episode! <laughs> we did a perfect minutes. episode of <laughs> the Valley <laughs> Run! We did a perfect episode! We did a perfect episode. Careful, he has we, did a perfect episode. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We did it. We did a perfect episode. Everything went right. Everything went right. Oh, 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 oh,
I would like to interject. We gotta do plugs. Oh, oh, Excelsior. 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 Excelsior, they're amazing. They're in Orlando. You can do, we're the only ones in the area with projector targets. Project games right on the wood so you can throw at zombies. Tic-tac-toe, connect four, which he always beats me at. Speaking of zombies, um, you guys do have a target around here that was that would be perfect for that. That sounds like an invitation for us to fail after a perfect episode! Yeah! We did a perfect episode! <laughs> Let me tell you something, buddies. Sometimes you got something so perfect in your life you think yourself can't get any more perfect. And then all of a sudden you discover the new Raycon E85s. What's an E85? That's a good question. I don't understand their nomenclature. All I know is that this gives you 32 hours of battery life. What's that I said? I said 32 hours of battery life. I don't know about you, but that seems like one very, 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 very a really long single, or half of a Brandon Sanderson novel. They have a six microphone system that cuts down on noise. I can't even count that high. The point is they're comfortable and they have true active noise cancellation. What? You can buy these and get 15% off your first purchase by going to buyraycon.com? Slash road work. Is that right? Holy cow, T Techie Texas, you give me the greatest deals all the time. All right, listen up, son. I've never been in no club before. Is this what they do? Feels like I'm being attacked by ninjas. Maybe it's a Yazooka club. Nah, they all got pinkies. I'm sorry, T Techie Texas. Go to buyraycon.com. Go to buyraycon.com. Slash road work. You got to spell it right. Don't spell it, no Yazooka. Get 32 hours of battery life on the new Raycon Workday E85s. They are wonderful, active noise cancellation. Oh, and, and, and they said they sound better too. And they and, sound. And you got that one upside down. And I have one of them upside down. Does it? Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I was dazzled by this guy. Thank you very much, Raycon, for supporting the program. Support us. Buyraycon.com. Slash Rob Work! 15% off. We don't deserve you, t Nicky <laughs> Texas. <laughs>you realize that this now has become are we more accurate than a blind man oh, yeah, 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 yeah to be fair our bullseyes are bigger yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, than their physical eyes <laughs>